Well, it's October, but it feels a lot like summer. It does, doesn't it? I mean, you walk outside and I'm like, I'd love to put a sweater on and then I'm like, oh, we live in Florida. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We're going to continue to feel like summer, but guess what? There's actually a cold front that's going to stall mm. along with some of these low pressure systems in the Gulf that we could see some good amount of rain next week. All right. Well, yeah. we'll see. I Let's know people don't want the rain anymore, but they sure don't. No, they don't. But, but it's, it's on the way. It's on the way. I guess it's good to stay updated on that. We got a little bit of a breeze out there right now. Take a look and you'll see Morning Star Marinas. We're going to break down this entire forecast. Uh, so basically you're going to start the morning out pretty dry and then as the kids come home today, you know, there's only a 20% chance of a shower out there at all. So we are in good shape. We're going to be around 86 as the kids head home. Temperatures right now anywhere from the 60s to the 80s. So it's a big variety. We're at 81 already in Mayport this morning. 67 in McClinney, 70 in Gainesville and 70 in Jacksonville this morning. So yeah, big, big variety. Radar, as you look at it, crystal clear out there and continuing to look at future track. You'll see a couple of showers coming in primarily up in Brunswick and St. Mary's off the coast and uh, you know, a few more pop-ups toward Lake City, Waycross by about 5 o'clock this evening in that high heat of the day, but the rain is not the story at all today. You're going to have a good day to get through. So as we make it all the way through tomorrow, uh, I'll show you this much overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Could see a few showers continuing to come in off the coast again, primarily impacting areas up in Georgia from Brunswick to Jacksonville, getting a little heavier uh, tomorrow afternoon from Jacksonville into McClenny. We'll track that as it comes in and you can download our weather app and uh, track it right along with us. But overall, enjoy a beautiful day. This is what I want to make clear. We've got a 30% chance. They've dropped this, by the way, the National Hurricane Center of Development with that low pressure system in the Gulf over the next seven days. But the issue comes in uh, not so much with anything tropical, just with the amount of rainfall we could get based on the low pressure system and that stalled cold front we might see uh, into the latter part of the weekend and into next week. Take a look and you'll see a lot of this rain. It's really going to be likely more impactful to central Florida and uh, south Florida. Nonetheless, it's worth a mention that as that cold front stalls and we continually see those areas of low pressure developing in the Gulf, again, not tropical areas of low pressure are not tropical. These are just rainmakers. Uh, that's where that rain could come through into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So there you go. Hurricane Kirk is out there and it'll take a swift turn and stay out to sea. And as it does, uh, you know, we'll be keeping an eye on it, but it has nothing to do with us. So we're in pretty good shape. Also want to talk about Tropical Storm Leslie. Nothing to do with us at all. Stays out to sea, but it is a talker, right? Because it is hurricane season. So there you go. Three different systems out there right now. Your rip current risk today if you go to the beach is moderate. So keep that in mind. And as you look at doctors like Marina, 68 degrees, you feel more like you're at 59. So you feel a lot cooler. As you look at your playground forecast, the kids make their way to school today. You're going to be in the 80s with 20% chance of precip. And it's a good day to tee off if that's something you want to do. Uh, again, radar looks good out there right now. That's just a lot of clutter. These are my predictions. So we go from the mid 80s to the low 80s pretty quickly with rain chances again developing because of that stalled front with those low pressure systems combining and kind of producing some of that rainfall. Again, it's uh, it's it's not a tropical thing. It's just a way that the weather makers are, are working out the forecast. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep you updated.